here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the D3Hoops.com Classic. Day one in full swing, and game five of that day was a burn burner, a one-point win for Trinity of Texas, 84-83 over Clark. I'm here with head coach Jimmy Smith of the Tigers and junior whose name I had a moment ago and is Jacob Harvey. This is how things go sometimes after five games. Uh, a, a barn burner and excitement down to the end. Uh, first off, Coach, you came back out to the bench and one of your fans said, you did it. Like literally, it felt like he was calling you specifically. Um, and I wanted to get your reaction to that because I know you did all of it. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, but no, it was it was a gutsy effort by the guys. You know, even down the stretch, we had some fouls to give, and I thought they yeah. did a really good job of executing the game plan and making them really work to waste some time before we took our fouls. And ultimately, I thought we forced them into a, a really tough shot to to end the game. Uh, Jacob, that uh, that end game sequence, like they get the ball across midcourt with about 23 seconds left. They call a timeout, and yeah, you guys make them in the bound ball, inbound the ball, inbound the ball. Tell us a little bit about what. You know, like the defensive mindset you have to keep up at that point when you're going back there on defense every single time. Yes, sir. Yeah, we knew we had a couple of fouls to give. Yeah. Um, we just had to be solid, believe in ourselves, and know we just need to stay strong defensively. And uh, yeah, we stay strong, got the stop. All right, you had a great day from the foul line. Might have struggled a little bit from the floor, but you know, as you end up with a, a game high 21 points, so almost half of them at the foul line. Tell us a little bit about uh, you know the pride you take in shooting free throws. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're free throws. So yeah. no one's guarding you. So, you know, I should have made a little more, but that's all right. Uh, just got to concentrate on each one. And my teammates are getting me in positions to go to the foul line and get fouled. So all credit to them. He missed four. He just said that when we were walking over here. Well, I was going to ask, out of 14 free throws, what's the number you want? 14. Yeah. I just, right. They are free for a reason, right? Yeah, right. I, I totally get that. All right, you guys are off to a great start this season, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we've had a poll. You were ranked 22 coming into this, um, and you know, have an opportunity to obviously make another statement. But tell us a little bit about if I could get your take on Clark as a team, how they compare to the teams you've faced, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, I felt like Clark was the most similar to us of the teams that we played. We like to play fast. They like to play fast. They have really good perimeter play. Uh, they're a good inside player, um, and so we thought it was going to be a, a, a really interesting matchup because our styles are similar. You know, we've played some other teams like Chicago, Washington Lee, Case, uh, I mean, not Case, uh, Claremont, who are yeah. bigger, you know, and um, play a little bit more methodically. Yeah. And so we knew it was going to be a really tough matchup. And, I mean, one obviously had a great game, and they shot it really well from three. Um, so it, we, we knew it was going to be a challenge, which is what we wanted. We want to see where we're at, and we hope that we're in some games like this and the game tomorrow in March. You know, that's kind of what we're comparing this to is an NCAA tournament type feel because it's these are NCAA tournament caliber teams, we feel like. Yeah, and that's what it felt like to us, too. Let me ask you, you know, so Coach said that they, you know, felt a lot like you guys in terms of the kind of pieces and the kind of weapons they have. What does that do for you as a guy when you're, you know, lining up against your counterpart or when you're watching them on video and preparing for a game like this? Yes, sir, yeah. They play similar to us, so we see that every day in practice, so it was fun to get them down the court with them, and they play fast, and, you know, they kept hanging around and banging threes. So that's what we like to do, so it was a, made it all-around fun game. All right, so it's a Trinity weekend here. You guys are, there are three teams, three uh, schools here that have both of their programs. What's it like to have both of your programs here this weekend? It's awesome. It's like a little home away from home. Yeah. Get to cheer on the girls and see them compete. So, uh, and also see them off the court. And so it's fun to, fun to be here with them. Do you guys have, what are the Las Vegas-y things you guys are doing this weekend? Yeah. I say weekend because it feels like that to me, but I know it's like a week. Yeah. Right now, focusing on two, two wins, and then after that, we'll, we'll see. All right, so I got to ask you that question. You must have a plan. Yeah, so we did uh, some bowling and some hanging out yesterday here in the hotel. We talked about, you know, really locking in for the games. And then tomorrow night, uh, we're going to, we haven't decided what show yet. We're going to go check out a show. Um, and then before we leave, we're going to go to the strip the next day, walk around and, and do all that stuff as well. So uh, we have a lot of time on the back end to, to knock some things out. Yeah, this is the place to do that. I think almost every year I hear somebody say they took their team to see Blue Man Group. We, they're one of the ones on the list that we're, that we're talking about, so they, we may be there. All right. That's Jimmy Smith and Jacob Harvey, head coach and junior guard for Trinity. That team victorious here in the first game at the D3Hoops.com Classic.